The continent of Africa is filled with many unique and interesting creatures, from the big cats patrolling the savanna to the tiniest but fascinating rodents that scamper through the grass. Among this range of species exist the lesser known small African carnivores. On first impression of seeing the mostly nocturnal spotted Jeanette, many believe this creature to be feline. However, while spotted Jeanettes are in a group Veliformia, which includes cats as well as mongooses and hyenas, Jeanettes are not part of the Velidae family, which includes big cats like lions, smaller cats like the sand cat, and of course the typical house cat. Instead, Jeanettes are in a little known family called Viveridae, along with Binturongs, which are also known as bear cats, and animals called civets and linsangs. In other words, Jennets are viverids, not felines. However, Jennets display traits that are similar to an extinct ancestor of all carnivores. That means that Jennets exhibit primitive physical and behavioral characteristics. Jennets possess retractable claws, a slender and flexible build, and their long striped tails help aid in adjusting their sense of gravity. Jennets are endemic to Africa. However, the small spotted Jennet has been introduced to some non-African countries and regions, such as Spain, southern France, the Arabian Peninsula, and the Middle East. They prefer to live in forest and woodland areas with dense trees, shrubs, and other places with cover. In fact, they occupy nearly all African habitats, depending on the species. They are predominantly solitary and semi-arboreal, Despite their solitary nature, they are sometimes seen foraging in the company of other genets and, of course, they become social during reproductive periods and when rearing their young. Their friendly vocalizations include what can be described as a hiccup or coughing sound. Genets emit other vocalizations, including a hyperventilating hiss, growls, screams, and a even purr. Like cats, however, genets are opportunistic predators preying on any small animals that they come across and can overpower. They have been described as carnivorous with insectivorous tendencies, as arthropods are a big component of many genet species diets. Their diet is highly dependent on the region of which they live as well as the season. In general, spotted genets consume insects, small rodents, and to a lesser extent, reptiles and birds. Some genets that live near water eat fish. Genets may also consume vegetation and other foods including fruit, seeds, amphibians, and eggs. Genets may consume a lot of grass to aid in digestion. They have even been found to forage for cockroaches in urban environments. Some individuals have been found preying on domestic poultry at farms, which can sometimes lead to conflict with humans. So given their cat-like appearance, some may believe that genets make good pets in the same way as, say, a house cat. But is this true? Not necessarily. First off, let's tackle the species of genets that exist in captivity. You may have heard that smaller genets are referred to as small spotted genets and the larger ones the large spotted genet. But this isn't true. There are many species of genet and in the United States, there are various species that exist in captivity and some people theorize that some of these genets are hybrids between different species. A small spotted genet isn't a genet of smaller size. This name refers to the size of the spots on the genet's fur as well as other characteristics. The scientific name of the small spotted genet, also known as the common genet, is Genetta genetta. There's also the rusty spotted genet, named Genetta maculata, and the large spotted genet, or cape genet, with the scientific name Genetta tigrina. Most genet owners are guessing which species they have based on their appearance. For instance, this smaller pet genet, which is about the size of a ferret, may be an uncommon species called the Hausa genet, based on its size, patterning, and lack of white markings. Genet species differ from the graininess of their spots, colors present that can include gray, black, brown, and white, and a color of the tip of their tails. Regardless of species, genets have some trying characteristics that separate them from other well-known animals when they are kept as pets. This is why they are unpopular pets, despite their appearance. 
First off, genets are skittish and they do not like to be restrained. This is not like an energetic kitten or ferret that is squirmy in your hands. To fully understand what this means, picture trying to hold a wild squirrel with your bare hands. This is what it means to restrain a spotted genet that doesn't want to be restrained. When you see videos of genets interacting with their owners, understand that these genets are very willing to engage in these encounters. Any genet that doesn't want to be held will not be held by someone for any period of time. Therefore, a genet is a pet where a successful bond must be had between pet and owner. Through the use of hand raising and positive reinforcement techniques, a genet can almost appear to be as friendly as a typical house cat. Be aware, however, that they are not. If a genet is frightened for any reason, they may refuse to come to you, enter a crate, and they can even become aggressive. This means a pet genet might have to be sedated for general veterinary care. If this doesn't sound like your idea of a desirable pet, you might want to look past owning a genet. Of course, just like with most exotic pets, how or if a genet is able to positively interact with its owner often depends on the level of socialization that is accomplished with it from an early age. Also keep in mind that genets are lightning fast. They may look similar to ferrets, but they can run the length of a room or up two flights of stairs in under two seconds. So it goes without saying that genets should have a roomy enclosure, especially if they aren't tame enough to safely roam the house. Some genets, like many exotic pets, may engage in unpleasant scent marking behaviors, including spraying and rubbing their perineal gland area on surfaces, secreting a gooey, sweet-smelling substance. Strangely enough, some owners report that they enjoy the smell of their genet secretions. Most genets will use a litter box, but they might not always be 100% successful. Based on the anecdotal testimonies of some owners, some genets do not spray and this may be due to the lack of presence of a mate that would induce the behavior. Spotted genets are carnivores, however some sources also consider them to be omnivorous. Many owners and zoological facilities feed genets a simple diet of cat food while others choose to feed raw diets that include whole mice, chicks, and insects. As there has been no research into how to feed captive genets, designing a good diet for them will always be guesswork derived from what we know about well-studied mammals. With genets, diets for cats is your best bet, and many choose to supplement this nutritionally complete diet with whole prey items that can also serve as enrichment, keeping in mind that some raw food presents a risk of bacterial contamination. When feeding genets, it is also important to provide them with enrichment. In the wild, a genet would spend most of its time foraging and hunting, and in captivity, genets need some form of mentally stimulating activity for their brain health as well as their overall well-being. This can be accomplished with feeding puzzles, treat dispensing balls, and even target training. One of the most important things to consider about genets as pets is the fact that they tend to rehome poorly, which is why it is absolutely essential that genets are not sought out impulsively or without extensive research. Genets will often never have the same relationship with a new owner that they've had with the person who hand raised them, and they may revert to a state that can be described as behaviorally wild. Genets live approximately 20 years in captivity, but some have survived more than 30 years. Getting a genet as a pet is not to be taken lightly. Remember, however, that genets are individuals. It's important to understand that spotted genets can have unpredictable temperaments when kept as pets. You'll find that some owners report that their genets allow themselves to be held and others do not. Genets need owners who can adapt to their unexpected and sometimes changing needs whenever they may develop. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something about genets in the wild and what it's like keeping them as a pet. If you did, please remember to like this video. We strive to provide the most up-to-date, honest, and evidence-based information about the creatures we care for. If you want to see more videos about the diverse world of exotic animals, please subscribe for more videos and visit the links in the description for more unique pet-related articles. 
Thank you for watching and remember, education is key.